Yeah, all paid for. Ugh, oh, I'm so full. That lobster roll nearly sent me to the nether realm. But we got one more challenge left on this trip. And hopefully we can call it a clean Carolina sweep. Although I did technically do that one challenge in Tennessee. It's a good one too. Barbecue today though. And I can never get enough of that. Do you think that's worth the electricity? I don't know. I think we've moved on from the inflatable flailing arm tube guy. This is the spot. Smitty's Smoking Soul Food Barbecue. They probably pronounce it Smitty's though, I would imagine. Experience starts here. It's an experience? Alright. The menu looks extensive like any good barbecue menu should be. I don't actually know what the uh, challenge includes though. How's it going man? Um, I'm here for your, you have like a barbecue challenge. What four sides would you like with it today? Oh, right, I've got to decide already. Can I, is it okay if I get like set up? Set yeah, up first? yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the menu looks delicious, so I would like to consider it. Is it okay if I occupy a large bench? I know I'm, I'm just one guy, admittedly a small guy, but it would be good for filming, I think. Your dad watches? Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, thanks man. Yeah. Tell him I said hello. All right, this is what's on the agenda today. A large tray or two large trays of barbecue grub. You can get it down inside one hour, you get the meal free and the t-shirt. If not, it's 75 bucks. This guy apparently had a, he made a valiant attempt, but um, did not quite manage it. Still got a smile on his face though. I'm not sure he tried hard enough. So the only thing you have to choose are the four sides you get. Ooh, what would you recommend? I would do the mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. The collards. Collard greens, or are they syrup. spicy? They got a little kick, but they're not super spicy. All right, we'll do it. We'll would, just to make would, it interesting. I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with the fried okra, if that's all right. Fried okra Is that okay? Beans. You'll love it, man. Yes, sir. Awesome. So it comes with a quarter rack of ribs. Yeah. A half pound of brisket, half pound of uh, pulled pork, and a half pound of uh, pulled chicken. All right, sounds like a lot. And but... a, yes, sir. And a soul roll plus six wings. A soul roll? What's yes, that? sir. Great question. Sounds like a wrestling move. So um, it's right? this, it is. <laughs> it's our seasoned rice, seasoned collards, and chopped brisket wrapped in deep fried in egg roll. In an egg roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, my sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. Awesome. It costs, uh, what was it, like $95 a swing? Or? It's $75, actually. $75. Yes, sir, $75. And if you eat it, you get a gift card. I'm sure you'll be back in the area next week, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, uh, a gift card, a hoodie. And, a hoodie? Um, yes, it's Smitty City. <laughs> oh, my yep. goodness. And, now you I'm get, and you get refunded the meal, the 75 You know, before I got here, I really didn't actually feel like eating, but now I've seen the food. It's doing wonders for my appetite. Ooh, it's coming. Those are the hot sauces. Yeah, hot. All right. Well, you shouldn't have told me that because if you had not told me, I probably would have used I, them. Now I'm just going to have to mix them up. Right there. You know the cup game costs seventy-five dollars. Yes. And uh, if you can finish it inside one hour, you get the meal free and a hoodie. I thought it was a t-shirt, but it's a hoodie, right? It's a hoodie, and you get a twenty-dollar gift card as well. As well. Mm -hmm. Has anyone actually done it yet? Has anyone managed to successfully complete it? Yes, we have one person actually completed. One person has done it. Yes. Five minutes till yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like, so like 55 minutes? Yeah. Oh, we've got the ribs. I thought I was getting off like pretty lightly yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> the, drum, the drum roll is good, yeah. Ready? I'm ready. Two, one. All right, let's suck in. Start with some of the meat. Yeah, this is a good place to start as any. What's up, Adami? Welcome back to the episode, the final installment from this particular trip. And um, we're ending with something pretty special. My favorite, a good old-fashioned barbecue challenge. Oh, this is lovely. This isn't the hot one, right? No, sir. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> now, in his defense, he could have set me up with the hot sauce, but he kindly marked those pots with an X. This is just regular old sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, it looks a bit like a Thousand Island dressing. I'll throw it on there. Yeah, I don't know what this was. Could have been Thousand Island. Any sauce works with pulled meats, though, if you ask me. Can't go wrong with something big and creamy, though, can you? All right, brisket next. This feels soft. Very tender. Yeah, we're getting to the point now where I'm starting to realize just how good this grub is. This place is pretty special, you know. I've eaten at a lot of barbecue places in my time, but I can't think of any this good. The brisket is in top nick, so much so that I think I'm about to 
deck, a half pound of it in like a minute or something. Look at that. Not many people get to see that face, I tell you. <laughs> the brisket was so tender, I don't think there's even time for a time lapse. That might, I might have to play that back in real time. You get to choose which flavour of wings you want. I think I went with honey barbecue. Yeah? I think they try to pressure me into the uh, shut your mouth spicy wings, but uh, I wasn't playing ball. Yeah, you don't say. Not like you, is it, you big wimp? No, actually, to be fair, I wouldn't have wanted to spoil the experience. I think regular old barbecue sauce is just fine. Who needs beard oil when you got barbecue sauce? This is delicious. This is so nice. Oh my goodness. Those are some hefty ribs. The size of those things. Oh, this is delicious. I should probably say at this point, for, uh, for legal reasons, this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> the food is just really good. I've got nothing bad to say about it. Although, we haven't hit the collard greens yet. Do you have any, um, do you have like root beer or sw sw yeah, root beer? Could I get root beer? That would be amazing. Thank you. You can't really get root beer in England, so I drink gallons of it when I'm out here. I love that stuff. I don't really mind. Without ice, it's fine. Yeah, let me see if any of the Brits getting involved down in the comments there. I realise you can get root beer in England. It's just much less ubiquitous. That's what I'm getting at. Thank you very much, sir. You want to get your hands greasy? Hey, how doing today? Good. How about you? Was that a good action shot? That was a good one. That made me look really manly. Just pure eat, eating meat off the bone. Doesn't get manlier than that. I think that's about as clean as that's gonna get. White man's. Yeah, look at that. That's a clean bone. What a professional. That is so cool. You let people try the brisket before they buy it. I'd be coming in with like a different disguise every day to try just get free bricks. <laughs> no, right, let's do the collard greens. I think it's probably the one part I'm not really looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, to me, collard greens are just spinach. And although Popeye gave that particular food stuff a great deal of positive spin throughout the 20th century, I'm not a huge fan. Should have just gone with the cornbread. Don't really know why I didn't because I love cornbread. I'm gonna leave the egg roll to the end. I think this is probably the most fun constituent part. Mac and cheese, maybe? Yeah, why not? The mac and cheese is pretty spot on too, you know? Well, for me anyway, I like it to be kind of gloopy, semi-viscous with a bit of a crust going on. Ooh, I'll get excited now. Stop! Calm down, man. What's wrong with you? Let's have some of the mustard. Can you put mustard on mac and cheese? We'll, we'll, we'll try it. This is the perfect consistency of mac and cheese for me. It's a little bit crispy on the top, not too sloppy. Yeah, I think I covered that about 30 seconds ago, mate, but uh, thanks for your contribution. It was good, though. That's the take home. Almost good enough for me to forget how full I am right now. Everyone's so friendly down here. This never happens in England. Nobody's ever this friendly in a restaurant in England, ever. Like, <laughs> you, you never see that ever. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> right, let's do the okra. I don't know if I've ever had the okra before. It's courgette, man. That's all it is. Courgette. Easy to eat, though. If you were to try and manipulate the rules in your favour on this one to make it a bit easier, Four lots of fried okra would probably not be a terrible tactical choice. Although, then you would be missing out on the variety, so maybe don't do that. Do you like okra? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, I guess a little bit like courgette, or what we would call courgette. I don't know if you have that in America. No, I've never heard no? of that. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's like cloves. Yeah. It's good though. Anything that's deep fried is good, pretty much. Yeah. Does anyone know how long I've been eating for? Oh, yes. I have 40 minutes left. Yeah. So I've been eating for 20 minutes. Yeah. And you're almost done. <laughs> That's insane. That is crazy. What next? I'm going to try this, uh, this soul roll. Soul roll. Yeah. Right. 
pretty good, you know. <laughs> I think I could just sit here all day and order like everything from the menu. <sighs> Alright, that's enough. You're getting a bit carried away now. Uh, I tell you though, these, um, I think that the soul roll is like their signature item, you know. People come from far and wide for this. And it is different, you know, barbecue stuff and an egg roll. Can't complain about that, it was, it was tasty. Sweet potato casserole and a bread roll. Should we make a sweet potato casserole sandwich? Is that a thing? You know what, this is getting really close. There's a, there's a video on my channel called, um, I think I called it the best food challenge I've ever done, right? And it was this place in Oklahoma called Kendall's where they do these giant chicken fried steaks. <laughs> but this this is getting pretty close, man. This could be going top spot. I don't know, this food's amazing. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that. An hour or so. I don't know, sweet potato casserole sandwich just seemed logical to me. British people put anything in a sandwich. And this was just the cherry on top, really. I love sweet potato anything. And uh, I think that does it, you know. I'm gonna call it the best barbecue challenge I've ever done. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next one. We knew, like, whenever we heard you come, we were like, yeah, he's gonna, like, he doesn't need an hour. Like, <laughs> an hour is absurd. How long has it been? This has been 23 minutes. Amazing, eh? That lobster roll I did yesterday, oh my god, like, I don't know how that fit inside me. Where did you get a lobster roll? It was um, in Wilmington. They have, like, a giant lobster roll. Um, but I didn't realize it's, like, it's supposed to be eight pounds, but it felt like way heavier. Yeah. It tasted great, but I was thinking, oh my God. Like to look at it, I'm thinking there's no way that could fit inside me. Is that last bite? It is. That was Smitty's Smoking Soul Foods uh, soul, feast. soul Feast Challenge. Pretty well polished off. You must have seen the videos. Yes. Oh, yeah. In fact, could I try like, could I try a little bit of both? Yes. Yeah. They both sound delicious. Yes. Final day. Not one, but two desserts. They're pretty small though. It's not like they're humongous or anything. I got banana pudding and uh, peach cobbler. It smells a bit like feet, but it does taste good. We got our logo on the back. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad you just brought it over now because if I stay in much longer, I'm gonna give myself a hernia. You're not gonna fit. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep like ordering food. I think. <laughs> Ooh, and the gift card too. Thank you very much. Ooh, it's, it's like plastic as well. It's like a credit card. Neat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. That was amazing. Food was delicious. Thank you very much. Boy. You're hot. Call me. That's you. So we left that in your car. Somebody left it in my car. They, but they, they didn't leave like a... Where's, where's the... No number, nothing. Oh my... So someone who knows me. No number! Man, that was the best barbecue I've ever had. Easily. I don't know where all that food's gone, actually, because... Not much of that lobster came out of me this morning without getting too graphic. I'll be all right. I think. Appreciate it, man. Cheers, thanks, man. Got a hot dog to go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted, I'm tempted.